2019 bow opener. Hunting season's officially here. Hello and welcome back to another outdoor adventure somewhere in Wisconsin. It is the bow opener here in Wisconsin today. Well, technically it's not the bow opener, but it's my bow opener. It is day two of the Wisconsin bow season. And fortunately I couldn't hunt the opener yesterday because I had a wedding. But what I'm doing today is I'm hiking in. I have a buddy who's sitting in the opposite end of a bedding area that I'm going to be sitting. We had a west wind earlier today. It should be switching over to like an east, uh, southeast pretty soon here. And I'm going to walk in along the edge of these beans and then cut straight across to my spot. And it's kind of a point. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to glass a little bit. I'm going to see if there's any acorns falling. I didn't do any quick scouts on this property this year. In fact, we have not been on this piece at all this year this is our first day in here so it really is it's the opener on this property I love hunting the Wisconsin bow opener catch the gear off guard I got them in their normal patterns early season hunting and uh, I'm looking forward to it I'm hunting on the ground tonight and because I'm hunting on the ground there's freaking beds all over right here because I'm hunting on the ground um, I'm not paint up my face a little bit or something just to break up my outline. I'm just going to kind of tuck into some brush and I'll be able to shoot out into the beans. I got tracks way over here. It's just such an odd spot. I got some railroad tracks to my east and there's just bedding all over right here. I'm kind of surprised by it because on this side of the railroad tracks is a neighborhood. But anyways, Wisconsin bow opener. Hiking in, sitting in the ground tonight should be a good one. This is interesting. Speed down. Look at this bed. This is all early season bedding. Really started noticing a bunch of tracks on the ground right here. And uh, took a few more steps, and you can see right here what I noticed. I got some acorns on the ground right here. This is such a weird spot because literally the neighborhoods are on the other side of the railroad tracks, which are probably. I don't know, 15 yards inside the woods. But I can hear the acorns falling right now. And there are tracks all over right here. Just munching these acorns in that tree. I'd be tempted to sit right in that pocket right there. It'd be kind of stupid, but. It would also possibly produce. <laughs> that would be wild. Look at this bed. Oh, it's right here. Right out in the middle of the beans. Here's another one. Right here. Here's another bed. Two of them. One. Two. Here's a bed. One. 
but all the tops are munched off. There is a little poop in it, so it is pretty fresh. Got a hammer with rain here lately. I'm sure there's hair in there too. I'm all settled in here. Again, I said I'm sitting on the ground tonight. I gotta be quiet. There's a little bit of wind, so it's not ideal for sitting on the ground, but I would like a nice steady wind to kind of push through. I've got a shot right in front of me. If I stand up, I have a shot kind of off to my right, and I'll be able to shoot a little ways more out into the beans if I need to. I'm pretty confident in the spot, but I'm not confident I'll get it on camera. And guys, just a heads up, I film pretty much all of my bow hunts. So if you're sticking around, uh, maybe for sure see me kill a deer, it might not happen on this episode. It might, but it might not. I just kind of like to share my experience in the woods. Alright, well, you just saw that doe out in the field. It's in the beans. Pretty sure it was bedded out there. I didn't walk too far from it. I probably walked 75 yards from it on the way in. <clears throat> I think all it did was stand up, walk 10 or 15 yards, and then laid right back down. It's probably just munching on beans in its bed. But uh turn this camera back around and wait. Play the game. Gotta wait. Wait, 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 wait. It's all about waiting. about 6.43, about a half an hour ago, I saw two doe get up way across the field, kind of where I came in today. So I didn't bump them when I came in. They got up, walked towards an oak. There's an oak over there. I think they were going to eat at that oak tree. And I also had a little spike, or fork. I suppose it was a fork, it looked like a four pointer. He kind of went out across the field. He didn't really want to be in the field, it looked like. I think he came up the edge behind me, maybe 60, 70 yards away. And then he kind of hopped across the field, and when he got to the other side, he walked along the edge to the south. I think I've seen three or four deer tonight. I don't know how many of those I got on camera. That you can see they're all pretty far away. It's getting to be that time. Got about 45 minutes left to light. Probably only 20, 25 minutes left of actual camera light, but I'm hunting first. So if a deer comes in after camera light, I'm still gonna shoot it. We're getting there, we're getting close to the end of the night here, so hopefully we have a little bit of action coming at, coming at you. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in the car when we get out of here. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our hunt tonight. It was a little slow. I saw four deer in all. I saw a doe, two fawns, and a little spike buck. That oak, that oak tree I saw on the way in that I showed you guys on the way in on this video, all three, I should say all four of those deer that I saw tonight went right past that oak tree. Three of them went, and they were eating acorns right underneath it. So probably should have just sat there, went with my instinct. What's up, buddy? I had to pack up all my stuff, so now I'm coming up in a second. Give me two minutes. Go upstairs and lay down. I'll be right up. Just gotta put my stuff away. It's right there. But why, why were you talking? To the camera for my video. Why? For my video. Why? To finish it. Why? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Alright, go lay down. 
Thanks. Love you. I saw, well, three of the four deer that I saw tonight stopped and munched on that acorn that was dropping on that far side of the field. The buck actually walked right past that spot. So all four deer I saw tonight were sitting in that little spot that I almost sat out in the beans there. I would have shot, I would have sat in the beans and then shot back towards that oak just with the way the wind was blowing. I just didn't think I could hide well enough in that spot. If the wind was different, I might have considered it and sat on the edge there. Lessons learned. If you see deer sign, if you see acorns, sit in that spot. Hunt it, and I'm sure you'll have some deer come in. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe right down here. If you want to watch any of our other content, last year's openers, bow hunts, duck hunts, goose hunts, you can check out some of our content right over here on the side. We'll see you guys next time. I'm Chase. We're always somewhere in Wisconsin. Happy opener.